This is an adult channel. In this video, we're going to do a comparison. These two cars have been out for a while, um, but I want to do a comparison because um, my favorite scale is 118, but 118 has some problems. And it depends on the manufacturer, um, <clears throat> what they think 118 is. So I've already measured these ahead of time. This is the uh, Sun Coast, Back to the Future DeLorean, and this, this is the Diamond Select, Back to the Future DeLorean. This one is 118 scale, and I measured it, and both of these are actually the right scale for what they say they are. <clears throat> the uh, Diamond Select, Back to the Future DeLorean is 115 scale. And I measured it, and the math comes out right. They, they got both of these right. Sun Coast and Diamond Select got both of these right. And the Sun Coast is heavy because it's die cast. It's, it's real metal. Uh, it looks like it's real polished aluminum. Uh, of course, that's, that's the trunk. And um, the, the doors actually open. You can see in there. It's nice and detailed. It's a really nice, nice version. And uh, we'll look at the back. That looks fantastic, doesn't it? Now the problem with these Sun Coasts is, look at the wheels. Because they're made to go into flying mode but they're loose I mean you could set it down you could even roll it but it's they're loose and um, they're too loose and uh, that's the only bummer about this um, and there's one other thing that I don't like and that is being 118 a 118 figure will not fit in there. So uh, here's a uh, here's blade. And uh, it's just never, it's, it's not ever going to happen with this car. There, there's room in there for, for the legs and the feet, but that steering wheel is too, far, too close. And, and look, uh, Wesley's he's going to hit his head in there because like i said in some other videos the human body's squishy and so are seats and they need to uh they may uh, you know <clears throat> a person could take a dremel tool and cut this out maybe and and then get him in but i mean it's just i tried <laughs> i tried for several minutes and there's just no way there's no way it is actual 118 but no way so Let's take a look at the Diamond Select. And here's the reason I'm doing this comparison because, well, one, the, the Diamond Select, you know, it's electronic. My battery's baby getting low. I'll set this uh, Sun Coast over here. Pretty awesome, huh? Wow, look at that. And you're looking at the back. Um, this one ha does not have the DeLorean down there. That could be fixed easily. I'm, I'm, I've, got a, I've got a feeling that they couldn't put DeLorean down there. It would cost a lot of money. And it's got this other barcode um, license plates as opposed to the out-of-time plate. And um, I noticed there's some wires right here. Um, on the Sun Coast and this one, they, they look pretty good, but look at the, the exhaust. They're different. The, the exhaust uh, tips. 
hand up. We got some blue right there. And we don't have here on the Sun Coast. But you look at right below uh, Mr. Fusion, it's got some blue. So, you know, there's all kinds of differences. Look how these are green. And look how those are uh, brown or beige. Look, we got some red there. That's it's not red there. So there's some there's some paint app differences on this thing between the two. And uh, yes, I did order the um, um, Tomy one tenth scale DeLorean to go with my Diamond Select figures. And whenever it comes out uh, later this fall, probably uh, I'll uh, I'll do a video on that. But of course, this opens up. And there's the battery compartment. This is these these uh windshield wipers are they're plastic. They're not wire, but they they do the job. And with the Sun Coast though, um, I think you got one. You got one. The other one is not there. And that might be my my car. It may be missing. Yeah, it looks like there was a place for it. Huh. Yeah. Maybe I could print something like that out. Um, but this car is... Uh, the wheels unfold... Uh, they fold too. But... It's too tight. And I don't want to force it. Uh, I had them in the uh, flying position earlier... And to get them in the business bis position, I had to wiggle it back and forth and wiggle it back and forth and kind of help it along. And I don't, I don't want to break it. It's very disappointing. They didn't used to be like that. Uh, it's gotten tight over time. Uh, I wonder if I could put some sort of lubricant down in there. But you can see that they're, they're starting to turn. but I don't want to force it. Um, and it looks like it might take a while of being careful with it. It's You can see where it started to make its way down. Uh, what kind of oil can you use on plastic? I think vegetable oil might work. But anyway, um, the reason, I'm gonna push it back up in there. The uh, reason, there we go. Uh, other than this being electronic, uh, the reason I like it is because you can get a 118 figure in there. Even though this is 115, uh, Blade does fit in there good. But there's still, hey, still has to get back by the steering wheel. And you gotta still gotta bend his legs a little bit. in there pretty good if you're wondering this head is by Spartan uh, 118 Spartan MX he does amazing amazing 118 heads look at that I need it to focus look at that paint job look at the eyes look at those eyes is that amazing or what so with um The chair, he does look like he's kind of little. But he fits in there. It's not that bad. It's not that horribly noticeable. There he's sitting upright, but I don't think he'll close the, yeah. <coughs> the uh, door won't close. And that's a nice head. I don't want to mess it up. But yeah, if you make him, um, his legs bend a little bit <clears throat> to get him down there, yeah, it closes. So I've got a Doc and Marty head coming that uh, I'm going to put in here. This is a little bit too big, but I, I'm just one of those persons that I need the figures to fit. I'll show you how big it is. So here's the Hasbro. Um, Ecto-1 
1984 Ecto-1 that they I just recently reviewed and you can see <clears throat> how big they are this uh, this car as I said in the other video is the proper proper size see how big this uh, DeLorean is sitting next to it now if, if you don't have these cars sitting next to each other it probably it's not gonna be that big a deal now if you set the DeLorean behind it, it makes it look a little bit smaller But I mean, I'm a I'm a scale snob. I'm a scale snob. I I, I I want things to be in scale. But when it comes to something like this, what do you what do you uh, you know what do you think? Because it it's too big. Here, let me let me set the uh, sand coast. God, this is really aggravating with them wheels. Now look at that. That's the proper scale. This is the 1 18th, and then I've got the Hot Wheels uh, Ghostbusters 2 in there, but they're the same size they're, as far as length. But look, look, look at the size difference. Okay, sitting next to that. I mean, you know, this old Cadillac is a big car, but look how little that DeLorean is. I've seen them in real life, but never got really super close. There's a guy locally here that's got one. I see it once in a while. Um, of course, it's a stock one, um, but I mean, you look at that. Look how small it is. That car. I didn't realize that car was so small. I mean, I'm wondering. I mean, do you have to like cram yourself in there? I mean, you know, uh, Mar uh, Michael J. Fox is, you know, a shorter guy, but uh, uh, Christopher Lloyd is not. There's not much room in there for a human. Um, so, you tell me what you think, but I, I'm going to stick with the, um, I'm going to stick with the uh, Diamond Select, because uh, I got some heads coming of Marty and uh, of Doc, and uh, I'll have to find the right donor bodies, but uh, I will... Uh, they make 118 motorcycles everywhere. Low, Low Blades was a, a special one. Um, I've got the 112, um, and they, they just made it with the 112 blade. Hasbro did. Um, or no, 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 I'm sorry. What am I thinking? The 112 Ghost Riders. Uh, and I don't know if they're going to do Blade again or not. But. Uh, Look at that. Anyway, um, uh, you can find a one. I got actually but got a bunch of one eighteenth motorcycles that I'll put him on. <clears throat> His was a special one. I'll have to take another look at the the movie and uh, see uh, if I can like uh, design something up the, to uh, make uh, his motorcycle. I've got the one twelve. Uh, blade motorcycle, so I will probably uh, look off of it. Okay, well, tell me what you think, if you don't mind. I'm going to stick with the Diamond Select, and this one, um, as, as heavy and real metal it is, that just irritates me. I wonder if it could be tightened up. A person could probably tighten that up uh, with a hot knife. It looks like those rivets are, they got plastic rivets or something. See it right there? I mean, if somebody you know that's tightened these up before, look at that. It's just like every joint in there is loose. But tighten up one or two of them and might be good enough. Okay, well, thanks for watching and we'll see you next video.